everybody in their little summer accents down here are just so cute. So we're at the Jack Sizemore RV Museum, and this is in Amarillo, Texas. It was a place we wanted to check out because if you've seen the movie RV, I've got a never-ending love for you. Supposedly, they have the Gornicky bus inside, so let's go check it out. So what do you like about this class? Um, <laughs> it's actually kind of silly because come here. If you saw the movie RV and that lady was trimming on the window, was it that window or that window? I You're correct. It was window, this right? window. Mom, can I have a dime? <laughs> <laughs> so probably one of my favorite pieces they have here is this Airstream Argosy, or it was just Argosy, but it was made by Airstream. This particular one was from 1976, so you can know how old that was. They've repainted it, but other than that, everything on the inside is original, so it's very cool. So this was definitely a fun place to visit. I am definitely glad that we stopped here. A couple of things that you need to know if you're interested in coming here during your journeys. One, there is not RV parking. <laughs> we had to park about a block and a half away um, on the other side of the block and then walk around because there is nowhere to park an RV. If you're driving a just a vehicle or your tow vehicle, you, you'll be fine. But if you're driving your rig, there's not RV parking here. Um, the other thing is, is that we're here just during the week, not on a weekend. It's not busy at all. Uh, I don't know how it would be on a weekend. I imagine probably busier, but during the week seems to be a great time to hit this up and not have any crowds. Hey, honey, you ready to hit the road? Do you feel like a graffiti artist? I am. history of Cadillac Ranch. This was put together by some people from California that were part of the arts community and wanted to put together some sort of display of art that was just really kind of off the cuff. So this is what they did. However, they were funded um, by a silent partner who was a billionaire that was a local billionaire in the Amarillo area. So he was kind of a silent partner in the whole deal to put this together. things to know. When we were out here, they probably had rain, super, super muddy, so there was really only one car that you could get to to even paint, which, you know, was fun. But super fun. Um, we actually didn't even bring our own paint. We just found some paint in the dumpsters. It still had plenty of paint in it. In fact, there's plenty of paint in this can. I'm just going to go put it back in the dumpster for the next person that wants to go tag a car. <laughs> A, a huge steak in under 60 minutes, and if you don't eat it, you have to pay $72, like a dollar per ounce. I finally convinced him to come to the United States, and his thing was, okay, we gotta go to Texas. We're going to Vegas in an RV okay. from South Carolina, and I wanted to show him as much of the United States as possible, and his one thing he wanted to do <laughs> was come to the Big Texan. Like I eat one meal a day as part of my diet, basically, so these meals can be pretty big, so people are like, you eat a lot, so why don't you try this?
So a few tips if you're going to eat at the Big Texan in Amarillo, Texas. Don't let them seat you at the table right in front of the stage. I got a very nice view of butts all night long. <laughs> the other thing is, it is an experience, meaning plan for two hours. If you plan on coming here for dinner, getting in, getting out, it's not gonna happen. It is an experience in and of itself. It's not a quick turnaround on the food. It's more about the experience and the ambiance and just having fun. So make sure that you've got a couple of hours that you've got to be able to come enjoy dinner. And then the last thing is, if you can have seating upstairs, you'll have a much better view than if you're sitting downstairs. So if you're in Amarillo, make sure you eat at the Big Texan. Hey, one sec, I need to say something. Did you know there's a live rattlesnake in the gift shop? A live rattlesnake. Yeah. We're gonna go downtown to the Reunion Tower, and we're gonna head up to the observation deck and do a 360 of downtown Dallas. Definitely a lot of fun. Um, it was definitely windier than I thought. And next time, if I come again, I will bring a jacket. So I got a little bit chilly in a tank top. So all that hot Texas weather cooled off quite a bit when there were clouds. So today I'm super excited. We are going to finally get some windows repaired on our motorhome. When we bought the motorhome, the majority of the windows had like fog in between the glass panes, which just made it very hard to see. But probably the worst was the driver's window, which actually was more of a safety issue, not being able to see out of that window when going to make a turn. So we did some research to replace these windows are pretty expensive. They can run up to about $900 a piece, but we found a company here in the Dallas area that will actually separate the window glass, clean up that fog, reseal it so we don't have the same problem and put it back together. And they do it for a much, much lower cost than it would cost to have all of the windows replaced. So super excited to be able to uh, be in the area so we can take advantage of their service while we're here and then get back on the road in a couple of days. And the process, basically what we do is that we take the entire frame out of the RV. We take all of the windows out, the glass out of the frames, and then we clean and treat them. And then we seal them just like the manufacturers do. But then on top of that, we put a 700 degree seal and that holds out anything that's going to get it back into that glass. Then our guys put everything back into it, put all of the valances and pretty things up and you're on your road. Um, just clean and look like brand new. So uh, sometimes they're calcified. If that happens, we can also get glass or if you break your glass. So awesome. Yep. And, definitely. Yep, and we're family owned and operated. We've been in business for 45 years. Yeah, no, take everything out. Then we take it back into our room. We have a moisture controlled room. Of course, that's what we're trying to get rid of. So okay. um, take it back there. We disassemble everything completely. Then we uh, we have a double, couple different techniques we use to clean the windows. Sometimes it's really easy. Sometimes you're going to spend a lot of time. But uh, like this window right here, you got two sides. So it's one, two, three, four. I actually know these are single. So one, two three, four. So we take everything apart, clean it, put uh, two seals back on it, including the, you know, the really hot seal on the outside, which uh, no burns today. So that's cool. Um, and then put everything back together, throw it back in. It doesn't take that long. Okay. Cool. But it uh, all depends on the glass. You want to get it be like right here is good, but if you allow them to get any worse, once they start getting that calcification on them, okay that's whenever you get to the point where sometimes it doesn't clean they real well. They can't really clean. So Got it. It's, uh, it's better to do before it had happens. Because we can always order new glass, but then it you have- It takes 10 days or so, right? To yeah. Get in. So, but I mean, we do it all the time, but it's pretty much just up to you guys. I know that uh, time is always of the, 
of the essence there. Right. And we oh. just arrived at Great Wolf Lodge and I just parked the Jeep. Kids are super excited to go swimming. the RV repaired we can't stay in it because it's gonna have all the windows out and um, we just can't be in it so we decided we would book a couple of nights here at the Great Wolf Lodge in Grapevine Texas and hang out here for a few days and have some fun We are up at the hotel room and we are gonna go get a bite to eat for breakfast and so I've heard the food around here isn't the best so we'll see we'll let you know we'll let you know what we think but Charity's gonna hang out back at the hotel or Starbucks and get a little bit of work done and my day to work so one thing that you learn really fast owning your own businesses and also traveling or even just when kids are out of school in the summer even if we weren't traveling is it really just pays off to switch off. So yesterday was my day to go play and today it's gonna be Ben's day to go play so I can get some stuff done. So a few final thoughts. We are checking out of the Great Wolf Lodge today and picking up our rig. So a few things that if you want to stay here, I want to make you aware of. Number one, the food is good, but it's super expensive. It's also very easy to rack up a huge bill because they give you a little wristband where you just charge anything that you want to purchase on the property to your room. So it's very easy to have a really large bill that you just aren't thinking about because it's just so easy to make a purchase. So kudos to Great Wolf for taking the friction out of the buying process, however. Um, it can get really expensive really fast. So a few things that we did to save some money and make our experience here a great one, but not an overly expensive one. Uh, one is we had one breakfast that they gave us as part of our stay, so we utilized that. Other than that, there is a microwave and a mini fridge in the rooms. So we just went to the grocery store, got some food to put in the fridge, um, utilized the microwave for things like Easy Macs for the kids. Also, we made our own breakfast. Uh, we used a little egg cooker that I got on Amazon, and we'll put the link to that below this video. So, and then I picked up an $8 toaster at Walmart. Again, an $8 toaster, even though we're not bringing it with us, saved us a ton of money in breakfasts. So we just did a um, bagel, egg, and ham sandwich. So I used the egg cooker to cook an egg in the microwave and then put that on a bagel with a piece of round breakfast ham and toasted the bagel in the toaster. So it made a very quick, simple breakfast, um, very inexpensive that way and very filling. So it basically helped us last throughout the day. There are other restaurants in the area, such as Chick-fil-A, other options. So we grabbed a few meals at some of those to save on some money instead of eating here at the lodge. So overall, we had a great experience here and uh, we loved it, but we're definitely ready to get back on the road. It's really fun. I really enjoyed the stay here. 
Good. And the breakfast was good. But when you think there's corn dogs at breakfast, it is not corn dogs. It's pancakes wrapped around sausage. All I know is this. It was real, it was fun. But it's time to get out of Texas.